You can make your form smarter by adding logic and calculations. Link questions to outcomes, assign points to answers, show and hide questions, or send people down different question paths depending on how they respond. In the logic page, there's a diagram illustrating the order of your fields showing up on your form. In the advanced logic page, you can create your logical conditions and calculations for each field. For example, if the answer to a question is option 4, and the answer to another question is option 3, then jump to a specific field that shows your personality type. You can set multiple conditional statements on each question. This way, your form shows the next questions based on the user's responses. In multi-step forms, each question is visible on a separate page. And using logic, your users jump to different questions based on how they respond. On the other hand, in single-step forms, all questions are visible on a single page. With logic you can show or hide questions depending on the responses. When showing fields in form using logic, Formaloo will take care of hiding it when vice versa happens. So there's no need to take care of all conditional paths here. You can build calculation-based logic forms in Formaloo. By default, there are two variables called price and score to help you do calculations based on the user's responses. But you can create your custom variables too. Edit your Formaloo and add a variable field. Then you can populate your variable in the logic page. In the end, you can compare your variables to show the correct answer to the user. The variable field can also accept formulas. Using formulas, you can calculate the values the user enters on your form. For example, to calculate the area of a triangle, ask the user to enter base and height. You can call the input value using the ID property of that field. For instance, add an ID for the base field, and call it in the formula of the variable field and multiply it by the value in the height field. Variable fields, by default, aren't visible on the form, but you can recall their value from their ID property. To do so, Add a section field and recall the variable's value by putting its ID in double braces. There's also a calculator page to help you calculate the score field and add multiple calculations to score the user's responses. There are options for showing the final score on the success page and displaying the answer sheet. You can create an answer sheet to display the correct answers and educational information on the success page. This way, when the user submits the form, they can view the score and the answer sheet. In this video, we took our forms one step further by adding logic and calculations. In the following video, we'll go through publishing your apps and forms.